11 Best Things to Do in Venice Venice, the city of water, where cars cannot come, and all transport goes by boats and bridges. Venice is one of the world's most unique cities, and therefore an absolute must-see while visiting Italy. Passing each street corner makes you want to pull out your camera and capture it, so you can easily plan a three-day city trip with all the things you can do in Venice. Day 1. Known and Unknown Venice Welcome to beautiful Venice. As it is one of the most popular cities in Europe, it is the best option to wake up early and avoid the big crowds. That way, you will make it much easier to do all the things to do in Venice. Visit Ponte di Rialto, Rialto Bridge. Start your morning at 6.30 a.m. and walk down to Ponte di Rialto, the oldest bridge over the Grand Canal in Venice. See how locals are unloading their fresh vegetables and fish from the boats and cross the stunning bridge. Lastly, walk down the bridge to the square at Soto Portego de l'Herbaria. After that, enjoy a delicious espresso and croissant in the fresh morning sunshine. There is, however, a limit of 40 people at the time. Reservations can be made inside the mall or online. It is one of the best places to see the sunset, but most likely impossible to get a spot during the high season. Visit Italy's coolest bookstore. Libreria Aqua Alta is a bit off the beaten path in a quiet area where not many tourists are seen. In this crazily decorated bookstore, they sell second-hand books, postcards, maps, and calendars. There are books everywhere you look, even in a huge gondola and bathtub that's inside the bookstore. This is because water can suddenly flood the place, so it is to protect the books. Get lost in the little streets, best thing to do in Venice. The main Venice tourist spots can get extremely busy, but you can get to a quiet area pretty easily. Get lost and stroll along the canals, cross bridges, watch locals enjoy their coffee moment, and see the real beauty of this incredible city. Without a doubt, one of the best things to do in Venice. Gondola ride in Venice. A unique and romantic way to see Venice is by cruising its canals with a gondola, the luxury cars of Venice. The gondola price is 80 UR per 40-minute boat ride and is officially set throughout the entire city. Day 2 – The Highlights of Venice Venice is well known for a couple of highlights that will be the things to do in Venice on day 2. As every day, start your morning early, but this time, make sure to grab a coffee and snack before entering the main tourist area of this city. Prasa Duil and Nit Bridge of Size Start your morning at 08.30 a.m. at the Doge's Palace. The palace is full of history and artwork that you can't miss. From here, criminals are sentenced to prison. The prisoners crossed the Bridge of Sighs and captured one last glance of Venice, hence the name Bridge of Sighs. St. Marco Basilica The impressive architecture and mosaics of the St. Marco Basilica are a must-see. Parts of the cathedral are free to visit, and it's not allowed to take any photos or videos inside. From the top of the cathedral, you have a great view of the entire square, but try to be here at 09.30 a.m. to avoid the long lines. Piazza Salana da Marco Piazza San Marco, St. Mark's Square, is the biggest square in Venice. Strategically located surrounded by some of Venice's most famous buildings, like the St. Marco Basilica, the Campanile, Bell Tower, and the Palazzo Ducale. Day 3. Relaxed Venice Spend your last day in the city a little more relaxed or on Burano Island. Scala Contarini del Bovolo Tucked away in the narrow streets of Venice is a unique piece of architecture. A spiral staircase, Scala, leading up to the top of the building, gives you a panoramic view of the city. You can see the St. Marco Basilica from there. The entrance is 6 EUR per person, and it is worth the search. Basilisk Santa Maria della Salute Cross the bridge Ponte dell'Accademia and walk around the student area of Venice called Dorsoduro. Make your way to the tip of the island towards Santa Maria della Salute. Episode on the canals Finish your day watching the sunset along the canals, so find your own private piece of the pier and enjoy the orange and purple colors on the Venetian canals. Extra, visit the most colorful island in Europe. Burano is a one-hour, one-way boat trip from Venice. The regular bus line does this route a couple of times a day. Burano is a small island with colorful, bright painted buildings. Expect to spend at least four hours, including the return trip. How much does Venice cost? 
Venice is one of the pricier destinations in Italy, particularly during the high season, May-September. However, there are still reasonably priced guest houses and hostels to be found, especially if you stay a little further out of the center. How to visit Venice Venice has an international airport, Marco Polo, where flights arrive from all over Europe. From the airport, you can take a boat for 14 EUR to the city. Another option is a bus that drops you at the train station in Venice. From there, you can hop on a boat. Other than the boat, the bus runs for almost 24 hours a day. Find flights to Venice. As you might know by now, nothing in Venice goes by car. Buses, ambulances, and even garbage trucks go by boat. But public transportation is surprisingly easy to use. Best Venice Hotels. Stay in the middle of the city but tucked away in a quiet street five minutes walking from San Marco Square at Novacento Boutique Hotel. If you're on a tight budget, your best option is to stay outside of Venice on the mainland. Best time to visit Venice. The best time to visit Venice is off season, when the weather is cooler and prices aren't at their highest yet. Try to avoid peak tourist season in July and August when it can get crowded and the heat is intense, which can make sightseeing more uncomfortable. Either visit between March and May or September to November. Don't miss a single moment of our travel escapades. Subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to join us on more thrilling adventures around the world.